The Adam Smith Awards Asia are recognized as the industry benchmark for best practice and innovation in corporate treasury. Throughout this dedicated series, we take a deep dive into each of the winning solutions of 2021 in conversation with the creators themselves. Hello, I'm Meg Coates, Joint Publisher and Head of Operations at the Treasury Today Group. In this episode, we take a look at the overall and highly commended winners in our best-in-class treasury solution in India. This category looks at treasury solutions implemented or in the process of being implemented in India. And the overall winner of our best-in-class treasury solution in India is Yerg Gumla, VP, Group Treasury, Head of Cash and Risk Management at Merck. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Jörg Biemüller, Head of Cash and Risk Management at the Merck Group. I am the overall winner together with my team of the best in class treasury solution in India. Winning an Adam Smith Award Asia means a lot to me. The Adam Smith Award is for sure one of the most prestigious awards in the global treasury community, recognizing outstanding performance. It is a true testimonial what the Merck team has achieved in this project, setting a new benchmark for corporate treasury processes in India. As India is one of the most restrictive monetary policy and highly regulated financial markets in the world, it brought unique challenges to the operations within the Merck Group. We faced large FX impacts and limited use of global treasury processes were the reality. Complex and manual local processes as well as fragmented banking landscape across our four legal entities in India created multiple inefficiencies. These inefficiencies proved to be hurdles for establishing core treasury processes and to ensure efficient growth. Therefore, Merck Treasury kicked off an optimization program in 2022. We started it for half a year with analyzing local processes. We investigated on bank services and bank fees, as well as analyzing overall financial data. We managed the process very classical. After the deep analysis, we went for a request for proposal, which was issued in June 2022, and we were inviting seven competing banks. Our aim was to reduce the overall FX risk, to establish efficient processes, especially optimization of checks, the overall cost reduction by streamlining local account structure and banking partners in general, also improving flows of information for cash management and monitoring of treasury activities throughout a centralized connectivity. Innovation and digitalization in general was also a target. The winner of this process was Deutsche Bank. Merck and Deutsche Bank very closely worked together for about 12 months um, until mid of 2021. We had more than 50 meetings for FX trade finance and cash management requirements. We spent more than 2,500 person hours uh, during this project across teams from Merck and the bank across India, Singapore, Philippines and Germany. The outcome was Merck deciding to consolidate its whole banking requirements with one bank in India, with Deutsche Bank. And we had savings of single digit uh, millions euros per annum. Our main learnings are, and this is true for other country projects that we see, it's worth thinking out of the box to go for innovative solutions. One example is that we have implemented a first of its kind India Rupee target balancing solution. 
And therefore, it is worthwhile going the extra mile in order to be able to be nominated for an Adam Smith Asia Award. And now it's time for a word from their partner. Hi, I am Harald Abel. I run Integrated Foreign Exchange Solutions for multinational clients in Germany, Switzerland and Austria at Deutsche Bank. Integrated FX is the orchestration of Deutsche Bank's risk and cash management services via new technology to deliver bespoke solutions directly into client systems. The main aim of the project was to improve treasury processes for Merck in India, one of the most complex and restrictive markets globally. The stakeholders were four business entities in Mumbai and Bangalore, a shared service center in the Philippines, and the central treasury in Germany. The requirement was to establish a holistic process around cash management, foreign exchange risk management, liquidity management, and working capital, as well as treasury reporting. As much as possible, manual steps needed to be eliminated and standardized global treasury processes adopted, while of course staying in line with local regulation. The FX exposure was to be moved to headquarters by adopting the Indian rupee as invoicing currency. This sounds straightforward. However, India's restrictive monetary policies and highly regulated financial market bring unique challenges to the automation of day-to-day -day operations. I will give you two examples. First, each cross-border payment for importing and exporting of goods and services needs to be physically documented. Second, There are 25 different payment types in India. To quote Merck, our client, breakthroughs begin with curiosity. Consequently, we jointly embarked on this project by analyzing status quo and desired target state of each treasury process, offshore hedging program, intercompany payment process, regulatory documentation obligation, management of local cash balances, adjustment of offshore hedges based on regular intercompany payment flow, and finally, reconciliation of paid invoices as in the client's ERP systems and in the regulatory tool. We found these steps are meshed. However, limited standardization and frequent system breaks along the chain were causing significant manual intervention by both Merck and Deutsche Bank teams. This is how the solution hatched. Are we able to stage these steps in an integrated process, harnessing new technology like robotic process automation and artificial intelligence? We created the first of its kind treasury solution, integrating cross-border payment flow, documentary requirements, FX execution and risk management, liquidity management, and reconciliation into a single streamlined process. The workflow is rules-based and automated, employing robotic process automation. It is designed to work with minimal human involvement. This is achieved via a target balancing solution in combination with immediate payment due dates. So in essence, we match available local cash with open invoices for prompt repatriation. In addition to reducing FX risk, the new approach also allows Merck to further optimize liquidity. Under this new process, Deutsche Bank collects all data from India's electronic import-export trade repository and digitally provides this information to Merck. This includes a proposal of all payments which can be executed with the cash balances available, which are pulled via API in real time. Merck releases these in a customized web page, which is integrated into an automated reconciliation process. As Deutsche Bank actively collects all data, Merck is no longer obliged to support the payments with hundreds of paper documents. Finally, FX risk management is linked to the cross-border payment flow. Based on proposed cross-border payments, inbound or outbound, Merck's offshore Euro INR hedge is automatically adjusted. FX trade data information is provided in standardized treasury management system format and delivered leveraging SWIFT technology. In retrospect, the biggest challenge, of course, was the COVID-19 pandemic, requiring coordination and close partnership across multiple locations 
and stakeholders. I would like to thank the Merck and Deutsche Bank team for developing this solution together. This innovative approach is going to be very relevant for other markets like India in the future, where regulation and documentary processes pose hurdles for standardization and centralization. Next up, we have our first highly commended award in this category. We have two highly commended winners in this category. The first is Yiyong Wu, Group Treasury Head at Xiaomi Corporation. Hi, I'm Wu Yiyong, Group Treasury Head of Xiaomi Corporation. We are the highly commended winner of the best-in-class treasury solution in India this year. Winning this award is a big encouragement to both the team and myself. Our company mission is to relentlessly build amazing products at honest prices to let everyone in the world enjoy a better life through innovative technologies. It was achieved by our product popularity worldwide. By the second quarter of 2021, Xiaomi smartphone market share ranked number one in 22 markets and top five in 65 markets. Such rapid global expansion also brings challenges for group treasury management. The diversified global footprint introduced sophistication in cross-border transactions, for exchange exposure risk, supply chain and working capital management, etc. We don't want to compromise our group cash management standard but we would also like to support overseas business growth to the best extent by taking local specifics into consideration. Xiaomi Treasury team continuously learn, adapt, and optimize our treasury infrastructure, helping thrive into a more agile, robust, and resilient one. This award recognized our accomplishment and encouraged us to achieve more global-wise even in regulated markets with more complexity, like India. Large funds trapped in a regulated market like India with high FX volatility increases complexity on grouped asset management. We've been actively monitoring the liquidity position to minimize earning volatility and transaction risk. There are deep depth discussions with our partner banks like Citi and it helps Xiaomi keep close tracking on India regulation updates, as well as macroeconomic developments. Taking our business model and local regulation particularities into consideration, we develop an innovative solution with our banking partner to neutralize centralize the FX booking to our major trading platform, which supports the seamless settlement with our local counterparties and flexibility of hygiene at the same time. Good treasury management always contains various elements. It requires robust and standardized group policy, governance, and infrastructure, including scalable solutions can be replicated to support business growth in a rapid way. However, it also needs to stay agile and requires collaboration with internal and external partners to move towards a highly adaptive way, especially in regulated markets. The excellence of Xiaomi's treasury management, embodied by innovative supply chain solutions, proactive FX approaches, and advanced technology architectures, among other business aspects, contribute to Xiaomi's admirable achievement in the complex markets like India. And now it's time for a word from their partner. Hi, I'm Chen Wu, Global Solution Sales of Jewelry and Trade Solutions at Citibank China. Citi supports Xiaomi to achieve automated processing for payment and reporting through host-to-host -host solution. It allows Xiaomi to inherit the group policy and standard in overseas markets that business expanded to, including India. In the meanwhile, City introduced a new technology, API, as it serves better for Xiaomi local marketing needs in India and provides better user experience for Xiaomi individual customers. City understands the special and important relationship between our clients and their business partners, which motivated us providing various trade financing solutions by taking it into consideration. 
They helped Xiaomi set up supply chain finance program in India in order to support their suppliers' liquidity needs under the tough pandemic situation and further strengthen the entire supply chain ecosystem. Global standardization, scalability, and automation were all addressed in this winning solution. It could be a big challenge for group cherry management when a company has global expansion at an admirable rapid pace like Xiaomi. City deeply understand this and provided scalable cherry solutions to Xiaomi, which supports Xiaomi to achieve global standard for group governance as well as the flexibility of applying them to new markets based on existing cherry infrastructure in a short time frame. On the other hand, through the seamless system integration and the digital supply chain finance solution, Xiaomi increased the automation of daily operating on both cash management and trade financing. And now we have our second highly commended award winner. The second is Jay Shukla, India Treasurer at ATC India. My name is Jay Shukla and I head Treasury for Asia Pacific for ATC. Winning this award has uh, you know, given us a recognition within the company and of course uh, the recognition for the company as well. Uh, and it kind of reinforces our belief that we are doing something good and something worthwhile. The biggest challenges uh, that we had to address was to make sure that the payments are happening on time. Uh, typically in India, electricity boards across the board will give you a 15-day time window to make the payment. And uh, as people can appreciate that India is a very diverse, geographically, you know, very stretched country. And we have uh, our towers and uh, as well as the electricity boards catering to those towers at remote locations, uh, pan-India. So the challenge uh, for uh, any company operating in India, especially on the telecom tower network, as well as to make the electricity bill payments is to make sure that the payments are made on time. Because if they are not made on time, then you have penalties, you have disconnections, you have a lot of other uh, bureaucratic issues. So the challenge was to make sure that, you know, we get the information of the payment on time and then we can process it and make the payment on time. And this solution that we've worked and partnered with JP Morgan uh, has uh, enabled us to make sure that the information is available on time and that we are able to make payments online on time. So this uh, reduces the TAT for, uh, you know, typically making an instrument offline check or demand draft kind of a payment. And that has uh, resulted in very less penalties and other problems associated with late payments. The single biggest learning point of the project is that uh, there are solutions to be taken if you try hard enough, if you uh, persevere. During the course of the project, we encountered many such instances where which seemed very impractical or not doable and still we kept at it. There was a lot of back and forth. And what we learned technically was that uh, the electricity boards in India are also very keen to accept online payments uh, as long as they are comfortable with the solution that we provide. So all in all, it was uh, a, a good learning experience for us. And uh, I would again say that uh, I think uh, the solution is always there if you try hard enough. And now it's time for a word from their partner. My name is Guhu Prasad Rajagopal. I'm the head of payments for India and JP Morgan. ATC provides telecommunications bandwidth to players in India and in turn to close to a billion consumers through its network of 80,000 towers across the country. As these towers depend on power supply from close to 100 of the country's utility providers, also known as state electricity boards, ATC must ensure timely utility payments to these providers to ensure consistent service to its customers. ATC was facing several challenges in their payables to the state electricity boards due to the varied online and offline payment methods, billing frequencies, leading to manual reconciliation of payables and lack of transparency in managing the working capital. 
To support ATC, JP Morgan worked with Bildesk, one of India's largest payment processors, to completely digitize, automate, and streamline its utility payments. The solution leverages a new initiative by the National Payment Corporation of India to onboard state electricity boards onto an integrated payment platform known as Bharat Bill Pay System or BBPS in short. By linking ATC to JP Morgan's online platform, which in turn connected to the BBPS platform via Buildisk, ATC can now independently and securely initiate utility payments online and without additional manual assistance from its partner banks. By streamlining the communications with and payments to these trade electricity boards into a single channel, ATC no longer has to manage disparate and manual processes that previously took up significant man hours and risked human errors in reconciliation. With information exchange possible in near real time between ATC, JP Morgan and Buildesk, payments are now authenticated and verified instantaneously, allowing transactions to be executed immediately. Further, ATC has visibility into the settlement process, leading to the enhanced coordination with its billers and overall digitization and automation of payables, including reconciliation through industry standard SWIFT formats like MT940 and MT942. The predictability of payables has ultimately also led to the optimization of liquidity for ATC. The simplification of the entire payables management process to a singular communication and payments channel between ATC and the state electricity boards, where JP Morgan and Buildisk has hugely benefited ATC in terms of enhanced visibility, reduced effort and manners, and manual paperwork, enabling the firm to boost its working capital management while improving the overall customer experience for both telecom players and end users. The solution has also helped ATC reduce the number of banking partners, resulting in significant increase in operational productivity and resource optimization. The ability to seamlessly exchange customized data in near real time, as well as automated reconciliation of payables, thanks to an innovative mix of host-to-host connectivity and API, also makes this a winning proposition. A huge congratulations to all our Adam Smith Awards Asia 2021 winners. Thank you for listening to this episode of our dedicated Adam Smith Awards Asia podcast series brought to you by the Treasury Today Group. More episodes will be coming soon featuring other award-winning solutions. So please subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated wherever you get your podcasts from.